This is Matthew. His job is to release mosquitoes into neighbourhoods. Wait, why is he releasing more mosquitoes into the neighbourhood? He never get bitten by mosquitoes before, is it? And everywhere got dengue already, still releasing mosquitoes? But what if I told you that having more mosquitoes in your neighbourhood might actually be a good thing? Hmm? Let me explain. Dengue has remained endemic in Singapore. In 2020, a record-breaking 35,315 cases of dengue fever was reported, the highest in Singapore's history. Not so fun fact, the number of deaths from dengue in 2020 was also higher than the number of deaths from COVID-19. There were about six times more reported dengue cases in 2022 than 2021. Not only that, mosquitoes have been adapting and have begun breeding in more obscure and hard-to-find places. This called for new approaches to manage dengue. And in 2016, Project Wobakia was introduced as a more upstream way of dengue suppression, where male Wobakia mosquitoes are released into the field to control the biting female mosquito population. But what is Wobakia? So Wobakia is a natural bacteria, so it's harmless. It's present in many other species of, uh, about 50% of insects carry Wobakia. So other mosquitoes carry it, but uh, interestingly is that Aedes aegypti, this species, in the field, they don't carry Wobakia. Scientists at NEA have taken it upon themselves to breed more mosquitoes with the bacteria here. This is what we call our stock colony. That means all the eggs that we use for developing uh, mosquitoes to be sent out comes from this room. Eggs are laid on this piece of white paper and lowered into an egg chamber for larvae to emerge. They are then poured into a larvae counter and a designated number is dispensed into small cups. Now, they are ready to move into their new home, the high-density rack. So over here, this tiny larvae will grow. As it grows bigger, then it, it, it will transform itself into pupae, the black colour one. And you see some of them floating around. If you look under the microscope, actually they are very cute looking. And after all of them have grown into pupae, they are further sorted with the help of this separation machine. Images are taken and using AI measurement, the size distribution of the pupae will be shown. The sieving system inside would separate the unhealthy, non-grown-up larvae, the smaller male pupae, and the larger female pupae. And with that, about 200 male pupae will be placed into each of these containers, where they will grow and emerge as mosquitoes for release. That's right, we're breeding these mosquitoes to be released in various neighbourhoods. But why? The Wolbachia bacteria causes cytoplasmic incompatibility, a phenomenon where sperm and eggs are unable to form viable offspring. This means that when the male mosquitoes infected with the Wolbachia bacteria breed with female mosquitoes that do not carry the bacteria, their resulting eggs do not hatch. Wait, but if they can't reproduce, then how are we breeding them? Rearing is possible, because when a mosquito carrying Wolbachia mates with another that also carries Wolbachia, they are compatible and the eggs can hatch. To date, Project Wobakia has been so successful that there has been up to a 98% reduction in female Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. The core study sites with at least one year of releases also saw up to 88% fewer dengue cases, compared to areas without releases. But if you find these mosquitoes irritating, you need to go ahead and kill them, in case they really do transmit dengue. Or you can call the SWAT team. Really, it's up to you. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell.